Hey guys, Tom here in my uh, 2017 F-150. I've got the SYNC 3 system on it, and I've always wanted to run Waze instead of Google Maps. Google Maps is great, but Waze is even better. So uh, I just figured out a way to get it running. Uh, there's an update to the Waze app that you have to download first. So go out and get the latest Waze app, and then uh, follow along here. Uh, first, you have to plug your phone in and have Android Auto running. This only works on Android Auto. It does not work on Apple CarPlay. So you plug your phone in. We'll get recognized here in a second. Here we go. We're switching over to Android Auto. Up it comes. And if you uh, go to your map program, I've already got mine set to Waze, but if you hold the button down, it'll give the option here to either do Google Maps or Waze. Plug Waze. Let's see, let's make sure I got Waze selected. Waze is selected, and there you see we've got Waze. And now this is all run on voice navigation too. All right, so now that you have Waze up, um, you can you can move back and forth between maps by just holding your map button down. You have two options now. But now that Waze is up and running, let's give it a try. We're gonna try to navigate to a place that I know is nearby. Navigate to Best Buy. The speed's actually pretty quick. It's limited by your cell phone speed. And as you can tell, I have two bars. We are all set. Drive safely. In 700 feet. Turn left. And there you go. Waze on your SYNC 3. This is a 2017 F-150, but I believe it works with all the SYNC 3 systems now. Um, if you got any questions or any comments or you're having trouble getting it going, uh, be sure to post a comment below. Uh, like I said, you're going to need to update your Waze app on your phone. Be sure that you're um, Sync 3 system is completely up to date and you may also want to make sure that your Android Auto application is up to date on your phone. If those three things are all up to date, you should have Waze on your Sync 3 system now. Hey, if you liked what we're doing here, be sure to click like. Um, if you like the whole channel, be sure to click subscribe. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, please be sure to leave them in the link below. Thanks guys. Hey, you're still here. I thought you'd want to see that this thing does actually navigate for us. Turn right on Thompson Parkway. There you go. Just like the ways that you're used to on your phone. 900 feet. At the roundabout, continue straight. Well, it just got dark out here. Switch into night mode. But it's just like you expect on your phone, but now it's on your uh, SYNC 3 system. All right, so I wanted to give you guys another update here, uh, add into this film, maybe it's not very contiguous here, but, but if you want to stop navigating or modify things, if you press this button, you get sounds, routes, and stop navigation. You press sound, you can get alerts only, sound off, sound on. If you go back into it, you can get different routes to choose from. Choose the best route. In 700 feet, turn right on Thompson Parkway. And if you're done and don't want to go there anymore, you simply hit stop navigation. So there you go. There's a little uh, overview on how to use Waze on the Sync 3. And this is in a Ford F-150, but I believe it'll work in most other trucks or cars.